This convicted murderer, Benjamin Appleby, is a guy who many in our area remember. He was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole for the murder of Allie Kemp. Despite his crimes, he's fighting his sentence, and Allie's family is understandably furious. I don't know why we're going through this nonsense one more time. Roger Kemp was told his daughter's killer would go away for life. But Friday, Benjamin Appleby was in a Johnson County courtroom asking for a shorter sentence for the murder of Allie Kemp. And I'm doing everything I can so this guy doesn't get out there. Benjamin Appleby is a murderer and he does not deserve to be back on the streets. Before this motion was filed, Roger says he only said Appleby's name once. That's changed. And now I'm going to say it a lot. People need to know his name, know what he did, know that we don't need him back out in our society. He was a clear and past danger, he's a clear and present danger, and he will be a clear and future danger in our society if he's released early. Johnson County District Attorney Steve Howe says he's confident that Appleby won't get out early. The case law supports our position. The unfortunate thing is it doesn't preclude people from filing these motions and going through the court process. Appleby was sentenced by a judge to what's called a hard 50 in 2004. That was legal then. Now, a hard 50 sentence has to be made by a jury. His attorney argues that his sentence is unconstitutional. Howe disagrees and says many convicted criminals are doing exactly what Appleby is doing. It has become a, a, an increasing problem for us. It's continuing to have to do additional litigation after sentencing on in many instances are just trivial motions. While Appleby fights his sentence from behind bars, the Kemp family will keep fighting to keep him there. What happened to her was so wrong. Our little girl was minding her own business and this individual, Benjamin Appleby, the murderer, decided to take her life. Yeah, I'm not happy. A judge will decide whether Appleby will get a new sentence on October 24th.